Holy moly, guys. I was so tired last night. Burning the midnight oil. Didn't even get to midnight. How's it going, guys? My name's Matt. I am uh, working on my van here. We are at the closing day of a project to coat the interior of the van with lizard skin. Lizard skin is a compound which is a two-part compound. First is a sound deadener and the second is a uh, thermal barrier, ceramic thermal barrier. The van is coated and yesterday I started putting the van back together. Today I will finish putting the van back together and putting all my shit back in it. Yeah, that's the intro. Welcome. Hopefully we can get through today without any any issues or frustrations. <laughs> Let's see. So if you guys, this is your first video, the entire dashboard was disassembled. The entire headliner was disassembled. The, the two front seats were out. The batteries and electronics were out. The floor pad was taken off and the, the, the floor was exposed. Everything was lifted out. The door uh, panels were taken off. Uh, and now we're gonna move to the back here. Uh, in back, we've got to set up everything else uh, and uh, finish this thing up. When I uh, took everything apart, I ended up with a lot of Havelock wool that uh, was sort of extra. So what I'm going to do first is going to take all of this Havelock wool and put it back into the wall sections um, so that it's insulated, especially as I go up north to Portland. It's funny how dark the inside of that van is now. It's like a dungeon, but that's okay. And again, if this is your first uh, episode, I'm at a shop called Seaside Auto, Auto House and H-A-U-S in Ventura, California. It's been graciously uh, uh, provided to me as a place to do my work and, and spray on the insulation for as long as I want. I've been here about a week now, uh, owned by a guy named Ninja and he does wraps. So if you need a wrap or anything and you're in Southern California, look him up, he's a pretty cool guy. If you guys don't know this, uh, what people use in these vans is something called Havelock wool. It's literally sheep's wool. It smells like a farm. It's non-toxic. You're not gonna worry about it fragmenting and getting in your nose. And I mean, the worst you're gonna get is some sheep's wool in your nose. <laughs> All right guys, so the next phase is uh, planning all the panels. So I, I, I fixed the, the passenger side uh, rear door uh, because it had that plastic sheeting protectant there, that gasket or whatever. But uh, the driver's side was missing. I don't know if I misplaced it or what, but I found um, how to like recreate this gasket that, that normally these things are stuck to. It's sort of a special gooey material. I found here, uh, actually Ninja lent me some, it's called a retro rubber resealing glue. And the trick is you put it on the surface, you stretch it out without the plastic, and then you take a heat gun and then you activate it. And then I cut a piece of plastic oversized. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off the edges. So it should be perfect. So this is the uh, passenger side sliding door and I'm going to have to actually tape off a piece of plastic around this whole piece. piece. The original piece of plastic was a bit piecemeal. I'm just going to redo the whole thing. So this here is the, uh, the tape and it's, it's just like tar. It's very, very um, hard to stretch. I mean, not, not super hard. You can stretch it, but it's not, it's not like Play-Doh. It's, it's much more thick in consistency. So I'm going to show you how I do this door. You know what's nice about this um, lizard skin is that it's actually very, very rough. So it's, I think it's very good for binding 
with with the material. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press really hard, and if you press hard, it sort of activates. And then I'm gonna stretch it, and then I'm gonna tack it, and then I'm gonna stretch it, and I'm gonna tack it, and I'm gonna stretch it. And so I'm just gonna go around the whole thing, slowly pushing and stretching it. You don't want to stretch it too thin, uh, otherwise when you activate it with the heat, it's just going to uh, fragment, like it's going to pull apart. You'll have to experiment with it to see which way works best or which thickness works, works best for you. Now what you got to do is you got to cut a piece of plastic to fit over overall this whole area okay so this is wide enough and long enough and then just go ahead and push this plastic on and it should be good to go It's not beautiful, but it's gonna be covered up and it's it's well sealed, that's for sure. All right, guys. <laughs> the van is coming together and pretty soon the floor will disappear. So far, you can pretty much feel like, okay, this is the coated van, but very, very soon, I'm gonna lay back onto the, onto the floor of the interior that was here originally. It won't be the final. But it'll be something I can sleep on for the next few weeks of my journey. So uh, I just wanted to show you one last view of, of the floor. You're not going to see the floor for, for a while. finished. Tomorrow we have to be at Agile Off-Road to install the shocks, struts, and lift kit. I should be there for a couple of days. Maybe one day, they said maybe. We got a reply back from the rim company. Uh, we'll get some rims, uh, but they aren't going to come too soon. They'll be ready in February, so I'll probably insert those rims uh, onto the van. Insert? Install? Uh, in February and they'll probably be done in, in Detroit. The van is a lot darker now. It's like a dungeon but uh, a lot of those walls, all of those walls, pretty much everything that you I painted will be under a wall or a ceiling or a floor. <laughs> I installed back a lot of things so, somewhat dirty like the floor mats and stuff and I need to I need to reward that van for all of its patience. Ninja and uh, Seaside Auto House has been my home for a while and it feels a little weird leaving. Uh, a little apprehension it's snowing and very wintry up up north. I'm gonna to have to start thinking about where I'm gonna sleep. There's all sorts of concerns I didn't have because I was here. I tell you what, working on that van in an, in an area like this, can't beat it. Everything from the lighting <laughs> for video, the lighting has been great. The warmth, the fact that he has a room, all of that stuff is gonna be gone. So I'm gonna spend the night here tonight and then I'll, I'll get up really early and I'll hit the road and uh, I'll get to San Diego early in the morning to get to Agile. It's been nice. I can't thank <laughs> Seaside Auto House and Ninja enough. The guy is a really nice fella. And it's funny, he came out and he's like, so how's it going? Oh, yo, you're almost wrapped up. I says, yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. He's like, oh, <laughs> no, why are you leaving tomorrow? It was, it was nice, you know. We, I've enjoyed his company, he's enjoyed mine. You want your ride wrapped or you want your 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 uh, your ride lowered. It's funny. He's lowering rides. Like he brought a vehicle in today and installed some new uh, struts on it, and lowered it down. I'm lifting that thing up two inches, which is funny because I'm gonna I'm not gonna have the tires or the rims 
I'm gonna have the original like small tires and rims and it's gonna lift two inches off the ground. It's gonna look a little bit weird, but that's fine, it's funny. Uh, I hope those tires stand up to the brutality of the Great White North because it looks like uh, it's snowing quite crazily up, up north. But Just a rule of thumb, if somebody gives you charity, you leave the space in a better condition than when you arrived. And I, I'm going to give him a bunch of stuff that I bought that I didn't use, mineral spirits and acetone and some chemicals. He'll be able to use them. Hopefully I left it better than, than when I arrived. All right, guys, take it easy. Jio, like, subscribe, share, comment. I got a Patreon. And follow me because the van's going to start taking more shape as we move along. And uh, it's, it's, it's a fun project. This is like, like an art project. Annie was, I was talking to Annie uh, today, yesterday, and she was like, you must be bored. I said, bored? I am like literally painting, this is my masterpiece. We'll see how, if, it's a, if it ends up as a hangman or a Picasso, we'll see. Take it easy, guys. Ciao,